Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. I've previously reviewed this model, but never on the factory leather strap, so the Corum Tie Bridge Tourbillon is getting a second go around. As you can see, the Tie Bridge Tourbillon, an 80 piece limited edition, is featured here. It's an impressively shaped, sized, and designed watch. It is a sort of robo tonneau, a tonneau case, but broad, industrial, and aggressive in its stance. It is a sports watch, and the timepiece perhaps surprises most with its thin profile, as it's only 13.6 millimeters thick. Now, if you were to measure it across the wrist, it measures 42.2 millimeters from 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock, not including the crown. And if we are going to measure it from end to end, it's still an agreeable 52.2 millimeters. And I really should mention that because of the curvature of the case and the grade 5 titanium, which is feather light, this watch wears well on a smaller wrist. And I can actually recommend it for a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. So that's what I'm feeling right here on my a 16 centimeter wrist. This is a watch that hugs your forearm. It sits securely. It's feather light and hypoallergenic. The strap that's fitted is a Corum factory alligator leather strap. And as you can see, Corum specs the good stuff. You're getting large rectangular scale, the best kind. You're getting a bolstered profile that naturally and quite accurately matches the swell of the case band. So although this isn't a full bracelet watch, it has much of the agreeable integrated aesthetic as many full bracelet watches with no daylight showing between case and strap. The strap is of high quality and they are not shorting you the leather. As I mentioned, it's large rectangular scale gaiter plenty of it, and then calfskin on the underside, and this is a brand new Corum factory strap. Corum takes no chances. While the watch is titanium, the clasp, including the swing arms, made of stainless steel for security and resistance to deformation. The triggers allow it to open up, but they only allow it to open when both triggers are pressed, so there's a good deal of security when this clasp is on your wrist. Externally, the clasp features the Corum logo, satin finish, and a nice polished bevel. The case is surprisingly sophisticated. As you can see, it borrows a page from the Richard Mill playbook using a satin finished flank that's somewhat recessed from the outside on both sides and then there is a polished bevel around the edge, a very handsome polished grade 5 titanium border that provides contrast as well as depth contrast. The case end features a little bit of a point as it has a ducktail invert right at the end rather than arcing down and ending in a tip. It has a little bit of a squared off face that gives it a more one might say mechanical appearance and this is an aggressive machine inspired sports watch you can see the quorum double key the symbol of the manufacturer out of la chaux de fond and then on the dial side you can see actually on both sides remarkable camber curvature to the case back and i'll show you the case back because there's not a whole lot going on here though you can see the underside of the r cap bridges and the baguette layout of the the bridge movement, inspired by the original Vincent Calabrese designed 1980 Golden Bridge, this one crafted of RCAP, and you will note that there is individual series numbering, as well as the fact that this is a 50 meter surface swimmable watch. Rolling back to the dial, appreciate first that the tourbillon is a flying tourbillon. So when you get close, you can see there is no upper bridge for the tourbillon, and you can enjoy an unobstructed view. You'll also note the repetition of the Quorum Double Key logo. It is satin finished across its top with flanking black polished screws, 72-hour power reserve, manually wound, twin mainspring barrels, and it beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. All of this pivots on 21 joules, and you can see that it is an open and airy movement. There is a lot of void inside the dial and Quorum from the very beginning with its founder, Rene Bonvart in the 1950s, more of an art house than anything else. They push the limit of design and they find new ways to interpret their past classics. And this is a very modern, technologically inspired, machine inspired take on the Golden Bridge. Of course, the baguette caliber is still present and correct. And if you look closely, you can see the trapeze like suspension of the barrels flanking loomed hands. So there will be a loom shot. This is a timepiece that is graceful athletic, light on the wrist, wearable as a sports watch, and yet, because it is, after all, a manual wind tourbillon, equally at home in fine attire, and that's helped by the sub 14 millimeter thickness. This is a watch that is full of contradictions and wonderful for it. 
Ultimately, at around 17,000 pre-owned, it's also one of the best true high horology tourbillon values you'll find. And this is no Memorigen mass-produced piece, nor is it the Tag Heuer tourbillon Carrera. This is a true handmade watch in every regard, right down to the external finish of the case, and a rare opportunity for an open-minded collector who's not afraid of going off the beaten path. See it and make it yours on the watch box. The Corum Tie Bridge by Night, 